Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use CupCut PC motion tracking for 2024. And right now, I'm currently inside CupCut. This is actually a third-party application and not the CupCut website. Now, once you're here, I have some materials to work with. So please stay at the end of the video and I'll show you where I got them. And that being said, let me just drag on the first video I'm going to use. So as a sample, I'm going to use this one. I specifically chose this one because there is movement. Because oh, I want to highlight that I can track this with a single click of a button. Now I have two options to track them. I can use an arrow, like so. Let me just show up the arrow right there. Perfect. I can make this arrow track both of the girls. Or I can just simply use a text. For this video, let's use a sample text. Let me just type in right here. Hello. And then with that one, let me just change the color to make it more visible for you guys. And I think this is good enough. I just want to make sure everything is aligned. And I'm going to extend the text all the way out of the video. Now I'm just going to adjust this one to make it more visible. I can make it right though. Now this option right here will be by your preference. How large the design of the text it will be on your preference. Next up, if I'm satisfied with this one, I'm going to head on. On the left side or right side, sorry about that. There is this thing that called tracking. Simply click on motion tracking right there. And it will give you orange box. Now here's the trick here. Usually the videos that we're tracking are only one um, person. So how about this one? I have two. On this special case right here, these two persons always run together. So if, in some cases, if they run on the opposite side, just choose one person you want to track. That's the catch here. You can only track one. Of course, it cannot track two, especially if they're going in the opposite direction. Anyway, the options here, you can enlarge it to make sure you capture the person. Or on this yellow uh, edge right there, you can change the shape. You can remove the edges to make it like a circle. And you can also rotate it like so. You can slant it perfectly right there. I think I'm satisfied with this one. I'm going to make sure I track the first person right there. Basically, you can have your option to scale or distance by this two right here. I suggest you work your array around this one. This also is also by your own preference. So try it out, experiment, and see what suits best for you. But for me, I'm going to remove both of them and click on start. Now it's tracking right now, as we can see as a preview. And right now, it's perfectly good as a preview right now. And by the way, guys, we're almost done here. And let's just preview it as it is. Let me just click the play button. And as you can see right now, the hello subtext is tracking the two girls right here. Now, as promised, let me just use the arrow earlier and me remove the text. Give me a second here. It's taking quite some long time. Perfect. I can just place the arrow right there. Now with this one, same goes with the text. I can place it by your own preference. I think I'm going to go with this one. Let me just fix this one right there. Perfect. Again, I'm going to go with the first girl right here on the slide. Click on tracking, motion tracking. Make sure I highlight the girl right here. And again, remove those two for me. If you want them to try it out, I suggest you try it. Now I'm going to click on start. And basically with this one, same goes with the text. It's going to track the first girl. And right now, we're almost done here. As you can see, I lost the arrow, right? Now you might ask me how I lost it. Because if you notice on the first addition it's not all the way out so if i drag it all the way out the arrow will stay up to the end of the video like so now that is how you track a person inside CupCut or any object now as promised i'm going to teach you where i got this arrow and this videos let me just open them up so this is the website i got the uh, video and the arrows with it's gonna be pixelbay.com and right here we have all images i have photos illustrations and vectors the vector section right here is the filter to choose the arrows or shapes and such. There is also videos, music, sound effects, GIFs, and users right here. So please try it out. Everything here is royalty free and they're personally free for you. You can also donate with the creator as a prisonership or patron. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.